I hope when people think about Franklin Estate, they think of purity and expression of place. I think when you see everything around you, that helps describe what you're tasting. Where is Franklin? I guess we always say it's in the middle of nowhere, but it is in the middle of everywhere. There's a magic to the freedom that you get from just having space again. And Franklin River is very unique in that there's small parcels scattered amongst immense landscape. That gives us a truly unique proposition. My parents were sheep wheat farmers. They had an interest in wine. Dad calls it his momentary lapse in sanity and planted the vineyard after doing a couple of vintages in Bordeaux. I suppose there's that underlying agricultural roots to this region, a really good sense of where the vines are grown, how they're grown. I think that's a really great recipe to making truly worldly, unique wine. The Franklin River wine region sits at the top of the Franklin River. Very cold nights, really nice warm days, and so ripening's achieved effortlessly, and you get these really lovely undulating ironstone gravel ridges, and that gives us a really nice ironstone minerality. It's not about changing everything, it's about little changes happening, keeping ideas moving. You've got to keep evolving. All of us travel widely and I think that brings back all sorts of different viewpoints and all different considerations back to the way we make our wines here. Run our vineyard sustainably was really an easy decision. The vines are the lifeblood of the winery. If we've got healthy vines out there and we get some amazing fruit into the winery, it's, it's really not complicated to make a good wine. It's those little things like having solar panels on the roof, or using compost, using fish emulsion, kelp. It's just like having a vegetable garden at home and you, you take that time, you get some fantastic fruit. It's all a bit of an extension of how we run our lives. When we've been working in Austria and Germany for families that have been at it for five and six hundred years, I mean, to me, that's what it's all about. Both my brother and I have small families. It means we would like to give it on to our future generations. I guess what I love about Franklin River is the freedom. Not only do you have a freedom of lifestyle, but there is a freedom to make a wine that we want to make, and that is pretty lucky. I mean, if you don't enjoy your own product, then how can you go out there and tell everyone how amazing it is? There's a great lifestyle in all this. I think, you know, we have an amazing ability to sit back and take in the emptiness of our landscape, and that's something that we celebrate. <laughs>